So our Flux framework uh, is doing great and we can see all the routing and everything looks very professional here. Okay, we've also pushed it to GitHub and you can see the application is right in here so you can clone it. Now let's try push this particular application to Microsoft Azure. Let's deploy it so that everyone around the world can get it. So I'm just going to click here and I'll click on web app. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new web app. So I'll say web app. Okay, so app service. Yeah, I think that is it. Click on app service and I'll click on adding a new web app. Okay, so what am I going to put in here? Okay, so let's give our web app a name. Okay, so the resource group is up to ask what is actually the one to create. So maybe I'll create a new resource group called Flux Group. Flux App Group. Okay, let me call it that way. Okay, so I'll copy this and I'll click on create new so that I can paste that in there and I'll click on okay. So I've created a resource group. I would give my app a name. It was called Tax Mini App. I think so. If it is available, yes, it's available on Microsoft Azure. Okay, then I'll leave it on code. I'll select the runtime. The runtime I'm going to select um, Python. So I'll select Python. All right. So I'll select Python 3.8 because that is where our application our application is running in the version 3.8. And if everything is good for you, you can leave it as the default over here. If not, I mean, you can do more customization. So um, deploying to Microsoft Azure is as easy as this. So let's create a simple web app and then um, we'll continue with the next stuff. So I'll click on review and create. Okay, now let's click on create to create our web app. All right, and our web app is ready. Let's go to resource to see what we have in there. Okay, so at this point, we've deployed a simple web app on, you know, um, Python. So I can click on this link to open it and it will just basically send me to an endpoint. I can share this with everyone across the globe for them to check this particular application app. Okay, um, so whilst we are here, um, one thing we need to do though is that we need to now connect our um, repository to this particular application. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll down um, to deployment center and I'll click on deployment center. And when I, once I click there, it will load and it will ask me to select where exactly do you want to, what particular, you know, um, do I want to deploy it on, uh, I mean, do I have my repository on Bitbucket or GitHub or, I mean, my local repository? I can do any, but I, I have it in on GitHub, so I'll just select GitHub over here. So let's do that. I'll select GitHub and I'll click on continue and I'll select that I want app service build and I'll click on continue. Okay. And it will just ask me to select from among my repository, this specific repository. Remember it is called tax mini app let me look for it over here okay all right and you can see it right in here okay then i would select i have only one branch which is the master branch i'll click on continue okay so it's going to take some few seconds and then it will deploy the application for us hmm, we did nothing right we created our web app and then we went to deployment center and then we hooked up our um our repository to this particular web app that was created and that's all um, just gonna take some few seconds and everything will be ready for us okay so it looks like our app is ready and up and running so let's check it in the browser to see whether everything is set okay let's refresh a few more times and a few more times okay let's look at what is wrong let's check the locks um, to see okay the logs and okay waiting for responses so you can see all this were done behind the scene for us which means our application should be up and running hmm what's wrong with us okay just a second so i'll go to slash task hmm okay so it looks like our application is not yet up so i'll copy this and i'll paste it in another 
browser. Let's see how it goes. Like, okay. Okay, and application is live. Okay, right. So it means that when we visit the tax endpoints, we would see that beautiful form that we created together. Um, you see, everything is live. So this is how simple it is to deploy an application. Um, uh, I mean, Flux application on Microsoft Azure.